Hello everyone, Ateriza here. Thank you for checking our channel and thank you for clicking in this video. For today's video, we have to study fractions. And our topic for today is about addition and subtraction of like or similar fractions. So, ano nga ba ang similar or like fraction? So, for example, we have here 1 fifth. Ang number na nasa taas ay ang tinatawag natin na numerator. At ang number naman na nasa baba, which is 5, ay ang tinatawag natin na denominator. At ang tinatawag natin na similar fractions are those fractions that are having the same denominator. Okay, we have here 1 fifth. Another, we have, uh, for example, we have 3 fifth. Then we will have two-fifth or four-fifth. Ang one-fifth, three-fifth, we have two-fifth and four-fifth are having the same denominator which is five. So they are similar or like fractions. Again, ang similar or like fractions are fractions that are having the same denominator. Yung pareha ang number na nasa baba. Now, in adding and subtracting similar fractions, we have three steps to follow. First is we have to add or subtract the numerator, which is the number na nasa taas. And second is we have to copy the denominator, which is yung number na nasa baba. And then, the third one is we have to simplify the answer or reduce our answer into lowest term. For example, 1 fifth plus 2 fifth. Ang first step I we have to add the numerator. So 1 plus 2 equals 3. And then we have to copy the denominator which is 5. The third one is we have to simplify our answer. Again, simplify natin ang answer natin or we have to reduce to its lowest term. Pero ang 3 fifth ay nasa lowest term na. So, ito yung final answer natin. So, to continue, we have to answer this. Okay, for number 1, we have 1 fourth plus 2 fourth is equals to. Again, we have to follow step. The first step is to add the numerator. Ito yung number na nasa taas. So, we have to add 1 plus 2 is equals to 3. Okay, and then, the second step is to, we have to copy the denominator, which is 4. Okay, we have to copy 4. So, our answer is 3 fourth. Masimplify pa ba natin si 3 fourth? Hindi na. So, 3 fourth is our final answer. Okay, for number 2, we have 2 7 plus 3 7. Again, we have to add the, num the numerator, which is 2 plus 3. So, 2 plus 3 is equals to 5. And then, second step, we have to copy the denominator, which is 7. So, our answer is 5 7. Is this our final answer? Yes, this is our final answer. Okay. For number 3, we have 4, 8, and 2, 8. Now, again, we have to add the numerator, which is 4 plus 2. The answer is 6. The second step is we have to copy the denominator, which is 8. So, our answer is 6, 8. So, is 6, 8 our final answer? No, because we can still simplify 6, 8. To simplify 6, 8, maghahanap tayo ng number that can divide 6 and can also divide 8. So, so ano nga bang number yon? So, we have to use 2. So, 6, 8, 6, we have to use 2. So, 6 divided by 2, the answer is 3. And then, 8 divided by 2, the answer is 4. So, our final answer is 3 fourth. Okay. So, let's proceed to number 4. Okay, for number 4, we have 2 12 plus 5 12. Again, we have to 
Add the number na nasa taas. 2 plus 5 is equals to 7. And then, kopyahin natin yung number na nasa baba, which is the denominator. 12. So, 7, 12. Pwede pa ba natin simplify si 7, 12? So, hindi na. So, 7, 12 is our final answer. Okay, for number 5, we have 4, 12 plus 2, 12. Okay, to answer this one, we have to add the numerator. So, 4 plus 2 is, is, is equals to 6. We have to copy the denominator, which is 12. So, our answer is 6, 12. Is 6, 12 our final answer? Hindi, kasi pwede pa natin ito simplify. So, maghahanap tayo ng number na pwede makadivide both 6 and 12. So, we have to use 6. So, 6 divided by 6, the answer is 1. And 12 divided by 6, the answer is 2. So, our final answer is 1 half. So, now let us proceed to subtractions of similar fractions. So, kaya ko sinabay ang addition and subtraction of similar fraction dahil itong dalawa ay pariho lang ang steps. So, let us answer. For number 1, we have 3 fourth minus 2 fourth. Again, the first step is we have to add or subtract the numerator. So, in this case, we have to subtract the numerator which is 3 minus 2. So, 3 minus 2, the answer is 1. For the second step, we have to copy the denominator. So, 1 fourth. So, our answer will is 1 fourth. For number 2, we have 5 seven minus 3 7. The first step, we have to subtract 5 minus 3. The answer is 2. Second step, we have to copy the denominator, which is 7. So, 2 7 is our final answer. Now, let us proceed. In number 3, we have 8 10 minus 6 10. So, 8 minus 6, the answer is 2. And then, we have to copy 10. Now, is this our final answer? No. We can simplify to that. Okay. We have to, anong gagawin natin? We have to look for a number na pwedeng makadivide 2 and then makadivide kay 10. So, we have to use 2. 2 divided by 2, the answer is 1. And 10 divided by 2, the answer is 5. So, our final answer is 1 fifth. So, let's proceed to number 4. In number 4, we have 10, 12 minus 4, 12. Again, we have to subtract the numerator. So, 10 minus 4, the answer is 6. Then, copy 12. 6, 12 is our answer. But, this is not the final answer. So, we have to apply number 3 rules. So, we have to simplify our answer. Again, maghanap tayo ng numero na pwedeng makadivide nilang pareho. So, we have to divide this by 6. So, 6 divided by 6, the answer is 1. And 12 divided by 6, the answer is 2. Our final answer is 1 half. So, for number 5, we have 6, 12 minus 2, 12. Again, we have to subtract the numerator. 6 minus 2, the answer is 4. And then, we have to copy the denominator, which is 12. So, 4, 12 is our answer, but this is not the final answer. Dahil, meron pang number na pwede i-divide ng 4 at i-divide natin sa 12. So, we have to divide this by 4. So, 4 divided by 4, the answer is 1. And 12 divided by 4, the answer is 3. Our final answer is 1 third. Nakuha nyo? So, hanggang dito na lang muna tayo sa ngayon. And then, don't forget to like and share. And also, subscribe. And then, if you have question, you can comment your question down. Okay, thank you for watching.